Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another daily scuttlebutt with Ivy's family factotum. I am Anson and Willow coming to join. Say hi, Willow. Say hi, Willow. <laughs> I know. Didn't run off today, huh? No. You don't do that about once a month, if that. So, just sitting here. Me and my pups. About to go out. Get some work done. And we're still dealing with that ring of fire. <laughs> oh, Ryan Hall, y'all. It's, I haven't watched the, the last video yet, but uh, that was the, the thumbnail was the ring of fire. It feels like we're surrounded by a ring of fire because, man, it's been hot. And uh, yesterday I went and helped out uh, Jen and Wiley over at their new place. And uh, the, the videos on that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they're posting over on uh, working with Wiley. And uh, I actually have a video coming out tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So make sure your notifications are turned on over on the main channel, Ivy's Family Factotum. And uh, you'll see the, the special project that we did. And it, well, it wasn't the main reason. <laughs> I was going over there. Um, main reason was to go over and drop off some tents, and just have a little bit of fellowship and and such, and just hang out with uh, some friends. And while I was there, I was like, "Hey, let's let's get some work done." Um, I'm not afraid of work, and we did that. We did a, a special project, moved a lot of heavy stuff, <laughs> and my pant clock at the end of the day or towards the middle of the day because it's only like 12 31 o'clock one well about 1 30 uh, was telling me that it was quitting time and uh, if you don't know what my pants clock or pant clock is then make sure you go on and check out the video and you guys will see what that means uh, and it's, it's not a clock built into my jeans. <laughs> oh, man. But no, we, we had a, a great time. Got some good stuff done. Wiley broke some stuff. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it, it was a great time. They're going to have a very nice property gonna take a lot of work it, it is still very very raw land um but it, it is going to be it is going to be nice um a bit closer each day right and enjoy the journey that's just like here um whenever we first got to this property this property was oh my goodness overgrown so much stuff needed to be taken down. Um, there was a house here. Well, a dilapidated house was not fit for, I mean, we were even afraid to just walk through the thing. So um, it got to the point, like we, we went in, we ob observed, took out stuff that we could, that we would see as being a, a hazard a major hazard, you know, for whenever we decided to just burn the place down. Um, cause just going in to, uh, clean it, it just wasn't going to happen. Not with just being Gladys. <coughs> that, that's something that would have taken many, many, many hands and still taken a long time, right? It would have taken several, several days. Like if you've ever watched, you know, like some of these hoarder channels of they go in and they clean out these homes and stuff like that for, uh, for several days at a time, it was like a week long of just cleaning. Yeah. 
I mean, this house wasn't like hoarded per se, but it had a lot of stuff in there. And you can go back to some of the older videos over on the main channel uh, and check that out of when we we first you know came to the property which I'm actually going to be throwing together a video of when we first because we haven't been here quite a year yet um, on the the property so we've been in Arkansas for a year but we have not been in the property for a year and actually living on a property we've only been living here for a month and a half <laughs> so <clears throat> you know a lot of, a lot of things are happening um a lot of changes have happened and it's a lot of hard work especially in the heat of the day and such and i i just want to show you guys you know that i'm gonna put together a video and and just show you that hey you know that this can be done with minimal hands this can be done with you know minimal funds because we are on a limited budget you know military retirement budget um not really using credit card i mean we've had to use credit card a couple times i'm i'm not gonna lie uh, but just because glass is going back to work um, for that extra money doesn't mean that we needed the money, right? Uh, not to be able to live. It, that's just going to be able to help out, you know, with paying down debt a little faster with, you know, helping out with some of these projects and such, you know, obviously until we can get monetized on both channels. Um, obviously this channel is going to be quite a while before it gets monetized, but, uh, and, and just until we can start doing that, you know, plus I already know, you know, that, that YouTube, you're not making a whole lot of money and stuff like that. You know, and I've already said this before that, that mo most of the money that you're making from, you know, social media type stuff is from the sponsorships and from the brand deals and from all that stuff like that. Um, that that's all the, the other things that, that people really don't that see. Right. Um, because if, if people are doing, you know, ad placements and, and showing off a product and, and doing all those things, they got paid for that. So, um, and, or they got that product for free to be able to do that advertisement. So, um, yeah, it is going to be another scorcher. It's going to be a scorcher. <laughs> um, that that kind of goes back to uh, another navy navy time back in the day. Uh, I might talk about that one at, at some point. Um, you, you got to remember that that sailors, right? Because you, you always have that the drinking, cursing, blah 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 sailor. Some people are like that. You know that 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 stereotypical. Cussing, drinking, sexing, blah, 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 sailors. Yep. No. Yep. <laughs> Not me. Not a lot of people, but there are a lot of them like that. Not every sailor is like that, I should say. But there were plenty that were. And, yeah. <laughs> that, that's probably not a, a story that... Uh, is going to be suitable for YouTube. Uh, let's see. Today, today, today. Today, I'm trying to finish up the power pole over um, by the well. Um, I have not been recording that. I'm just trying to get it done. Um, obviously, you guys have already seen. I already did a video of doing the power pole here um, at the, the cabin build site and where the RV is currently located. Uh, is basically the same thing. <coughs> a little bit different, but basically the same thing. Because I actually got a round pole this time instead of a square pole. I have a different uh, load center. So instead of the load center and the meter being separate, they're all in one box. So 
Um, had to save up for that one. Yeah, it, it it's nice though uh, because that that is actually going to be the that load center will be the one that I probably put on our house because the the reason why I, I love that load center. And I'm, I might show you guys later or on tomorrow's Scuttlebutt. We might go up there and I'll, I'll show you guys that load center because the what I love about it is it has lugs. So normally your load center, the, the main power that comes in to the load center, it has like the two big Allen lugs that holds the wire, right? It's a two-aught wire. And that comes from your meter, Right, so you have the main power coming into your meter, and then from the meter to the load center. Uh, it only has the lugs at the top. Well, this has lugs at the top and on the bottom. That way you can actually run wires from your load center over to another panel, like a sub-panel. And what's awesome about that is normally if you're doing something like that, you, you're running that wire from a... Um, <clears throat> like a, a separate breaker. So what's good about this one is you have your main power coming into that load center. It's a 200 amp breaker. So you would essentially be able to run that wire from those two lugs at the bottom over to another 200 amp breaker, right? Which is just, it'd be a service panel, not, a load center right so um i like that i like that a lot and i know that the panel that we have out here is not like that <laughs> it only has the 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 panel that um basically your your main that comes in so this out here is more of a service panel and not a load center so um yeah i like that i got the other one Okay, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, we are still working on, so we have a, a 10 by 10 metal shed that's also getting put in. That video, I'm, I'm not going to release that video until that build is completely done. Um, so it, it's, it's going to be, you know, broken down between five, probably five different days. You know that and it's spaced out almost two weeks apart uh, just because it's it hasn't been happening but I need to get it done before this weekend because come Monday we're actually expecting weather so um, I don't want it blowing away uh, plus I also picked up some stuff to be able to attach some uh, ledger boards or some wood to the edge of the concrete because that the shed is just a little bit bigger so that the pad of where that needs to be is a certain measurement width wise and our concrete pad that is going on was three inches too short so i'm gonna basically get some two by sixes uh which i already have a a, a couple pressure treated two by sixes um, that I can put onto the side of that and enough to where the, the shed will be able to sit on it comfortably and I can, you know, a attach the feet and, and be done with it. So, um, plus I, I also would like to attach it to the concrete, uh, just some, you know, the, the screws, uh, that way I don't have to worry about the weather or anything like that coming and lifting it up and taking it away. So, Yeah. That's what we got with that. So, well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get busy. So I definitely appreciate you guys for listening in today <coughs> of my, my ramblings. <laughs> and uh, we definitely appreciate you guys for helping us grow, for sharing us out. If you made it this far, we definitely, definitely greatly appreciate you helping us grow, helping us with our watch hours and such. Uh, share us out. Continue to, to do those things. Is greatly appreciated once again. Last but not least, remember to always thank a veteran at every chance you get. Not only on Veterans Day, and we'll see you on our next one. Later, y'all.